it's chaos it's chaotic isn't it yeah yeah that's the, that's the name of the game isn't it yeah that that's the definition of performance really and growth in in any aspect and yeah surfing it really is the perfect analogy from that order from chaos is is where you grow what has uh, big wave surfing got to do with corporate culture it, it's interesting you can go into the finest of details when you break down my career as a professional big wave surfer and match it to all aspects of business but the way i see it is everything we do is performance and so what i use the tools tips techniques to underpin my performance and take it to the next level basically anyone in the world can use regardless of what you want if you want to be better than you are you have to change in order to do that there's an element of fear in in changing and you need both the the ability to do it and the motivation to do it and they sort of feed off each other so everything i use anyone else can use wow. yeah. okay if you think of surfers you generally think of uh, uh, dudes with long hair and and, and girls in bikinis yeah. having lots of fun on the <laughs> beach and and they're all pretty stoked and use lots of colloquialisms but there's there's a lot of science in what you you've done isn't there yeah definitely I, I, especially what i do as a big wave surfer if i take that laid back approach to that i mean i probably wouldn't be here today <laughs> i'd probably yeah. be on the bottom of the ocean yeah. somewhere yeah. and and wouldn't have been able to deal with all the risk that i do because yeah. you, you can go out and surf big waves once and get away with a lot of stuff but to do it over and over and over again over 15 years you have to take as much of the risk out as possible and and that's yeah the sweet science of risk mitigation and everything you do breaking all aspects of performance down even in the way your team performs when you're out there the the water safety crew that i work with every aspect you have to be meticulous with to take the 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 risk out so that you can have that longevity in such a dangerous sport. So, so you're doing you're doing uh, very risky things um, and 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 all the time looking at risk minimisation. Yeah, right. definitely. It's it's that fine line where I have to take risk, yeah. but how can I take? So so this is what I want. This is the risk I've got to take to get there. But how can I minimise that along the way? And and it's a fine line. Yeah. And and these waves, I mean, they're not little, are they? They're big waves. Uh, anywhere from I think some of the biggest around 50 feet high. No. Yeah. Yeah, and we get to a stage where you can sort of pat only paddle into certain size waves using your own generated speed. And then once it gets bigger than that, you have to use jet skis to actually put you on the wave because the waves are so big and they're moving so fast. So. A 50 foot yeah. wave. <laughs> 50 foot waves, big, big mountains of water. And I mean, in business at the moment, everyone's um, talking about disruption um, and technology. No one knows what's around the corner. Everybody's a bit concerned and a bit, a bit concerned for their own businesses and their and their futures. And are they going to have a job? Um, I mean, the sea is probably the cruel sea is the best metaphor, isn't it, for uh, for life and and how to adapt and change. And, and I guess that's where a lot of your success has been with these big corporations. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the analogy of the sea being, and especially in the big wave where I'm chasing storms and that constantly changing volatile nat nature of the ocean and then trying to take myself into that environment and extract some sort of performance out of that crazy world is exactly the same as what everyone faces on every sort of level of business from the biggest corporations in the world playing in these huge markets that are constantly changing. Yeah. Even down to the individual employees having to deal with the volatile nature of the, the teams that are around them and functioning within there and the, so there's so many different dynamics and so many different levels but the, to be able to underpin all that with the visuals of the ocean and, and the aspects of that, it's a really good anchoring message. And so you're trying to make um, you're trying to make order from chaos, and it is it's chaos, it's chaotic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's definitely. The, that's the name of the game, isn't it? Yeah, that that's the definition of performance, really, and growth in in any aspect. And yeah, surfing really 
is the perfect analogy from that. Order from chaos is, is where you grow. It's just on that very fine edge of, of trying to just establish enough order to get the performance out and not falling victim to the chaos. So right on the edge of catastrophe, basically. Perfectly, yeah, okay. right on the very edge. And, and that's the thing, the, what predicts our level of success in the surfing world, so it's how well I rode a wave, is how close I got to that chaos. So how where I position myself inside the chaos of that huge barreling wave. So if I could put myself in there and the closer I am to catastrophe or chaos, that's kind of the metric that, that surfers judge each other on how well you rode that wave. So you can't be safe. You can't be safe, can you? Never completely safe, but we just take all the risk mitigation to so that when I do fall victim to that chaos and wipe out on the wave, we're going to be as safe as possible. We train for it, we have water safety crews, we have everything in place to sort of, as best we can, mitigate that, that worst case scenario.